Hello everyone, I want to give you a quick demo of an application that I bought from the uh, iPad app store. Now that application would be iTeleport. I'm actually doing a free demo for him right now. Um, essentially what this application is is a uh, fill-in for back to my Mac. Actually if you have a PC it will work with VNC or uh, RDP as well. Um, so basically it's a way to connect remotely from your uh, iPad to your Mac and do what you can on your Mac. Um, I've heard several complaints that the iPad um, is kind of useless because you can't run Mac OS X on it, but using this app kind of fills in the holes that way. Let's go ahead and open up the application. Now the way it works is it actually uh, synchronizes over the cloud using Gmail. So you need to have a Gmail account set up in order to use the application. You'll download a client on the Mac or the Windows box and log into Gmail to be able to view to view the uh, computer. So right now it has my uh, Gmail address right there and my password automatically saved in the application. I can sign in and I have one computer set up. And that is my iMac. So I can go ahead and hit on my iMac. The teleport logo will load. It's going to connect to my desktop. Takes a couple minutes to establish the connection, and there we have it. Um, right now, I'm remotely connected to my desktop, um, so I can go ahead and zoom out, pinch to the screen. The refresh rate on this application is actually surprisingly fast. I had the iPad connected to a uh, 3G MiFi, and I was actually able to stream video without any problem. So, uh, kind of giving you a demo of the application, you put your finger on anywhere on the desktop to move it around and you move your mouse to wherever you want let's say I wanted to go ahead and type in the uh, search field on the YouTube desktop application and Safari on the website there so I actually have to have the uh, cursor where I want to click and then I can hit anywhere on the screen as I click so as you can see I now have the uh, cursor in the search field so I can up here in the uh, upper right hand corner I have a button that will pull up the virtual keyboard then I can search for an application so let's go uh, search for my user account and then hit return or I can move the cursor and hit the uh, search button so right now Safari is loading let's go ahead and get the keyboard out of the way For whatever reason, uh, my internet connection is taking forever to load. So there we go. And, oh, we have a video right here. Basically uh, trying to figure out if the uh, Microsoft employees up in Bellevue, Washington know where the Apple Store is in uh, Bellevue Square. So feel free to watch that video. Uh, getting a little more in-depth, let's go ahead and open up Dreamweaver to go ahead and edit a website. Move the camera down. So I have that clicked, I have my cursor over Dreamweaver. Like I said before, I can click anywhere on the screen to simulate a click. So as you can see, the refresh rate is pretty quick. So Dreamweaver is going to open up. can move my cursor to load it up. Uh, so I can create a new page and zoom in. Go ahead and open up a uh, old index.html file. And Dreamweaver is giving me back an error. Huh, for whatever reason that index.html file was not found. And you do actually have to move your cursor to the OK button and then tap anywhere to close it out. Um, let's say you want to copy text from an application to the iPad, you can actually do that. Uh, up here you have the, sorry that's navigation, up here you have the uh, command button, so you have your command, your shift, your um, caps lock and your um, control and by using those commands you can actually select text and copy it. Um, so this is basically just a simple way to connect remotely um, to your Mac desktop app uh, over VNC using the iPad. 
one thing I think is really going to be helpful when you have a Pages document or a Keynote on your Mac that you don't have with you at the time being, you need to be able to get it and edit that on your iPad. Um, so you can actually email it to yourself. Go ahead and open up Macintosh hard drive. That'll open up a new finder window where we can go to our documents and go ahead and email that to ourselves or put it on our iDisk where we can download. So that is the uh, demo of iTeleport. Quick and dirty demo. I'll have a more advanced demo in the future.